What's up, Illuminerds? We are here at PowerMorphCon 2024. It's good to be back. And I don't have to introduce you to, the, to her. She's Charlie. She is the Yellow Ranger firm once and always. How are you doing today? I am doing so amazing. <laughs> You're telling me this is your first PowerMorphCon as, as, you know, as a guest, right? Yes, first PowerMorphCon as a guest. I came to PowerMorphCon in 2022, incognito though. Um, because it hadn't been announced yet. I haven't even done any filming yet. Yeah. I just came to see what it was like, and but now I'm here, and yeah. it's so fun. Did uh, did they say, hey, do you want to go to PowerMorphCon, but you can't, you know, introduce yourself? You can't talk to nobody. No, this was this was um, my mom and I's idea going to PMC and in, Incognito because she was like, you got to see what it's like and see how you know it's you know affected people and stuff. So we came, and I was like, wow, like this is huger than I imagined. The, the con world before before becoming a Power Ranger. Have you were you used to the con scene and everything that goes on in it? I wasn't. No. You know, I was. I hadn't really watched Power Rangers growing up. Um, I'd watch other superhero shows, but nothing no, nothing like Power Rangers. Yeah. But once I landed the role of Min, that's when I was like, okay, I gotta watch Power Rangers. And so I watched the first season and I was like, wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Now you don't know how much your character means to a lot of OG Ranger fans because Trainee uh, Twee, she was an amazing person, amazing Ranger, great representation for the Asian community for sure. What was it like taking on this role, knowing that there's so much, you know, history behind it? It was it was huge, but it was an absolute honor because I I knew from the moment I started watching Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the first season, I was like, wow, Trini is. She's such a powerful character. She's a beacon of light and hope. And coming in to play her daughter was like, it was very big shoes to fill, but I had an absolute honor doing it and working with the original black and blue Power Rangers, Walter Jones and <laughs> David Yost. It was like, wow. So it's yeah. really fun. Once and Always was an amazing episode or movie. I don't know how you, how you categorize it on Netflix. I say movie. Yeah, movie. Yeah. It was a nice movie. Like, definitely a different tone from Power Rangers before. Uh, to prepare yourself, did you watch uh, Trainees episodes on Power Rangers? I did. I watched, I specifically watched the Praying Mantis episode. Ah, that's a good yes. one. Yes. And I was one. like, okay, I got, I got the movements now. And I, oh. Hey, Carol. Hi. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I remember, yes, I remember rehearsing all the fight scenes and the praying mantis stuff, and I got a lot. I learned a lot from just watching her. So yeah. Now, prior to becoming a Power Ranger, I know you worked a lot with 87 North, kick-ass stunt team. Yes. Like we were there for the bullet train demonstration you did. Yes. Freaking amazing. And I think this is like right before they announced you as Yellow Ranger. So, yes. And then everybody was like, hey, this might be the Yellow yeah. Ranger. You know, everybody yeah. started figuring out little yep. little hints. Because you'll find out within the Ranger community, nothing really stays a secret for a long no, time. No, I noticed that. You know, we were, it had, nothing had been announced yet. And I was in New Zealand filming. And all of a sudden, I get these like, hey, possibly <laughs> Charlie Kirsch. And I'm like, how did they figure that out? <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Now, have any of the original Rangers or Rangers that you've met here through conventions, have they given you any tips as far as like to carry on that Power Ranger legacy? You know, they have. And I think one big one, it's kind of funny in a way, I was rehearsing the morph, morphing scene with them. And I didn't know how the morpher worked, mm -hmm. so I, 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 we were in rehearsals, and I was like, "How does this work? What button do you push?" And she, they were they were all showing me. Okay, you got to turn it this way, and you got to push this button. Nope, that's upside down. You got to turn it that. <laughs> so it was that was one of the things they taught me, and I remember that was the first lesson I got from them. <laughs> that's amazing. Now, if the opportunity opened up for you, would you don the suit again? Yes, I would, but. Yeah. Honestly, right now Hasbro only knows what's happening there. So it's true, Hasbro, you gotta you gotta get the Rangers yeah. back. You gotta get the Rangers back. Maybe you could lead your own team. You know, Maybe. a bunch of like the uh, the kids of all the original Rangers. Maybe. Well, thank you so much. I do have something for you. You do? Yes, I do. This is a trainee Funko Pop. It's oh a little my banged goodness, up. You are so sweet. <laughs> but you know, this. just something to remember your mom by your Power Ranger thank mom by. Thank you so much. So thank you so much for thank all you. this, and you know. I hope you guys come out to Power Morphicon. Her booth's right by the door. Uh, you're gonna get to meet the the yellow, the new Yellow Ranger, Charlie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome.